you know, Garrett Anderson was as pure a hitter as they came. I call him the rock of our lineup. He's there every day. You need an RBI, here's your man. And he hits this one high in the air and deep to right field. And God for a home run. Probably one of the most underrated players in his prime. Garrett Anderson was as complete of a player as you're ever going to find to put on not only an Angel uniform, but a baseball uniform. What words best describe GA? Calm, cool, clutch, consistent. GA was flat out consistent and had the ability to slow the game down. But despite his true greatness, the fans always seem to want a little bit more. I go all the way back with Garrett, who was a young pup, and you know, I can remember this kid driving up in a brand new flashy Mustang, and we're like, oh, okay, what do we got with this guy, you know? And everybody's kind of waiting for this, you know, this, this attitude, this personality to come out, and it never did. And, and he was the same that first day I met him as he was <laughs> the last game we played together. The Angels selected Anderson in the fourth round of the 1990 MLB draft out of Kennedy High in Granada Hills. He arrived full-time in the majors in 1995 with a splash, winning the Player of the Month honors that July when he batted 410 with seven home runs. Having a coach like Rod kept me grounded as well, you know. He pulled me aside and told me to focus on just playing every day. And I used Rod more for his knowledge with hitting line drives, and so I would pick his brain on how to hit certain pitches, where to hit them. So I went to him a lot. You know, he didn't have to come to me. I sought his knowledge, and, and um, I took that along with all the pieces that I uh, learned during the minor leagues and just kind of put pieces together like a puzzle. GA, to me, was one of the most reliable hitters on our club when it came to runners in scoring position. We need a run driven in. That's the man I want to play. Anderson finished second in Rookie of the Year balloting, and along with Jim Edmonds in center and Tim Salmon in right, they formed the cornerstone of the Angels franchise. During a four-year stretch beginning in 2000, Anderson batted 299, averaging 30 home runs and 120 RBI. But the ease with which he played the game made some fans call into question the fire that burned inside. Some things came real easy to Garrett, and just the way he ran. Uh, suggested that he wasn't running hard, but try to stay up with him, <laughs> you know. I was the type of player that pretty much just flew under the radar. I didn't seek the attention. I just came to do my work every day and do my job every day and come to play every day. In 2003, the understated Anderson stole the show at All-Star Weekend, winning the home run derby, then the next night taking home the game's MVP trophy. But for Angel fans, the most memorable at-bat in his career occurred one electrifying October night a year earlier. Ripped, right field and into the corner. Eckstein scores. Erskine scores. Here's Salmon. Fortunately, we set the table and got a big hit from a guy that had been big for us all season, and, and that's Garrett Anderson, who cleared the bases to give us a 4-1 lead and held on to win. The Angels, World Champions! He's the one guy you could always count on. No matter all these struggles we went through as a team, individuals would, would scuffle or have injuries, Garrett was the one solid thing through all of it. He didn't go anywhere. He carried us when people weren't even watching. I have a lot of respect for that man. First in games played, hits, runs, and RBI. Anderson sits atop many prominent career hitting categories in Angels franchise history. His quiet temperament belies the determination of each and every at-bat he took with Anaheim. He was a quiet, soft-spoken guy outside of the clubhouse. Uh, in the clubhouse, probably as respected a player as there was. Garrett was a model player in an Angel uniform and he'll go down as one of the greats in, in this franchise history.